sound suppression water system on the launch pad now are. That will release water at the rate of 900,000 gallons a minute at T minus 16 seconds. We're at T minus one minute in counting. Turning off the solid rocket booster joint heaters. And we're making a final check of the solid rocket booster commands. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Tank strut heaters are off. And with the vent doors are positioned. Standing by to hand off to Columbia's onboard computers. Columbia now controlling. 25. 20. Iron is chain is uh, now armed. 15. 10. T minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Start. 5. 3. 2. 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a mission combining science and the practical aspects of space. Roger roll, Columbia. Future now controlling. Well, we were complete. Columbia now in a heads down wings level position headed to a 150 nautical mile orbit, inclined 20 and a half degrees to either side of the equator. Three engines on board Columbia now traveling back to the 67% of rate of thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure in the lower part of Earth's atmosphere. Three engines now ramping back up to 104%. Columbia, go at throttle up. Columbia's, Columbia's three liquid fuel engines are now back at full throttle, 104 percent of rated thrust. Altitude now 11 miles, downrange distance 8 miles. One minute 30 seconds into flight, with more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant having already been consumed, Columbia now weighs half of what it did at liftoff. Stand by for the next major event, which will be the burnout separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. That coming up in a little more than two minutes into the flight. Altitude now 20 miles, downrange distance to KSC 19 miles. Booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. Columbia, performance is nominal. Nominal performance. Two and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia's performance has been as expected.